Today's hearing focuses on how the government buys food. Every day, the government provides meals to our soldiers at home and overseas, veterans, government employees, and to our children through the National School Lunch Program. Every year, billions of taxpayer dollars are paid to the food service contractors who supply the food for dining facilities on military ships, bases, and on the battlefield, as well as at government buildings, hospitals, and schools. In September 2010, the Department of Justice announced a $30 million settlement with U.S. Food Service, another major contractor, based on allegations that it had overcharged the government by inflating food prices on contracts with the Defense Department and the Veterans Administration. When food service contractors buy food for the government, they get rebates from the manufacturers, suppliers, and vendors. In their simplest form, rebates often are based on volume purchasing. In cost-reimbursable contracts, the contractor will then submit invoices for its food purchases to the contracting agency. The problem is, is that the invoice price may not include the rebates received from the manufacturer or the distributor. So that the agency then pays the full amount of the invoice and the contractor pockets the difference. It is when something is complicated and hard that bad stuff happens. Because the thing about very clear direction and transparency, that that usually translates into better accountability. And I think the lack of accountability in this particular area can be traced directly to the complexity of this issue. Well, here we have a line item in the federal government that is north of billions and billions and billions of dollars. The message that these reports and investigations send is clear. We're not doing enough to make sure that the government isn't getting cheated. In this time of belt tightening, we need to be more careful than ever to ensure that taxpayer dollars are not being wasted. The, the Attorney General's investigation has identified several problems with the system, which in other contexts has been labeled as an unlawful kickback. There is a second, almost more important uh, and definitely more insidious issue, which is that the rebates create a conflict of interest. If you think about the environment in this country as it related to contracting in Iraq, compared to the attitude in this country around contracting in World War II. Um, I think that's why um, my predecessor, Senator Truman, would have an awfully hard time getting his arms around how big this problem has become.